Hi, good afternoon. Hope you're well. Jamie here from Pickle Press. I got asked a question the other day from a customer who specializes in uh, transforming bathrooms. And so we wanted to illustrate this nicely on the uh, WooCommerce product page. And this is what we've got. This is what we came up with. So we uh, did some research and found this really cool block that you can use. So this is fantastic if, you, if you're involved in any kind of transformational services, whether it's healthcare, architecture, uh, garden design, anything like this, where you can really illustrate the before and the after scene in this. I'm using it here on a, the WooCommerce product page using our WooBuilder Blocks plugin, but you can use this in a post or a page, anything at all. So uh, it's using this particular effect, it's just using a free uh, plugin, which I, I'm going to show you how to use. It's very simple to set up though. It will only take you five minutes and I think it's really, really cool. So here we go. Right, step one, you're gonna to need to go and download this plugin. It's a free plugin called Image Comparison Block. You can find it for free from wordpress.org and this is the plugin that does that lovely comparison side-by-side -side image thingy that we're gonna use. You'll see it also here tells us some of the features uh, that come with it. It's got some really cool stuff like you can have it either vertically swiping or vertically uh, swiping. You can change the way the handle behaves, whether somebody has to click into it to move it or just has to drag across to move it. Uh, and you can also change a lot in terms of the font colors of the uh, little things that appear when you drag. So if I just show you this one, you see as I drag or hover, you get this after and before uh, labels appearing. You can also customize those. So it's, it's pretty cool. So let me show you how it works. So that's step one, you need to go and get that plugin and install that on your site. And uh, this is the pl this is where I'm going to actually use it. I'm going to transform this um, WooCommerce product to replace my normal WooCommerce featured image with this lovely uh, side by side comparison block. Okay, so we're using well, I'm using for this demo Woo Builder blocks to um, be able to edit this product page in the uh, Gutenberg block editor, which is one of our plugins. So I'm just going to enable it, and I'm just going to start from scratch to rebuild this page. And um, one of the things you need to consider is how uh, how wide you want your um, side by side comparison image. So personally, I think it's a good idea to probably constrain it somewhat like I've done here. I've actually put this in two columns uh, with the first column being two thirds and the second column here being the final third. So that's kind of the first step I'd recommend. It's obviously up to you. If you want it to be full width, you can absolutely have it full width but I'm gonna put it in the columns block and I'm gonna use this 70-30 proportions columns block and that just sets my columns for me. Then I'm just gonna add that side-by-side um, -side comparison block. So it's called image comparison, that's the one. Uh, so when you install the plugin, it adds that extra block for us. You just add that into that column. And now we're really faced with just add, adding our two images, but there are a few things to consider when you're choosing your images. The first is, this might sound really obvious to you, but it took me a while to understand it really, that your image, both images need to be the full width of the container that, you, that you're gonna put them in. Otherwise, they'll obviously be cropped. So even though you're just seeing a square here, a square here, somebody's gonna drag across here and reveal the whole image. So you need to have the um, image ex you know, that size at least. Uh, and the other thing to consider is it's going to show the, the full height by pixel. So you want to get the right cropping proportions to start with. Now, I'll tell you what I did for mine, which seems to work pretty well. Uh, so there's my before picture. So I'm using about, as a rough guide, about 1,000 pixels wide and about 500 pixels high. This is obviously something that you can play with. Um, but let me just add that first one. And there's the first one. Then I'm just going to add the second one in which is my after photo, which is that one there. That's the finished bathroom. Okay, and there we go. That You see how that just now, I can even preview it. It's very cool. Now you have quite a few options with this block as well, which is nice. And you'll see those over in the block customizer panel in the right here. So you can change the orientation of it. See how it's now flipped to vertical. I think most instances, you're probably gonna want horizontal. You can also change, um, when the handle moves so you can have it on hover so i'm not actually clicking there can you see how it's moving i'm just hovering across it which is quite nice but can get a bit irritating so personally i think on swipe is probably for me probably the, the best one in fact all these settings really i i think are probably best well um, left alone but you can obviously play with this you can change the before handle uh, before label and after label so you know you could put in after uh, before 
uh, bathroom customization or design. Yeah, you'll see this in a minute when I publish it. Um, and you can also change the text color and the border color. Uh, in fact, let me update this so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. Let's go and have a look at it. You see there. In fact, it's quite nice, isn't it, when you've got the actual text of um, what the you know what you're actually talking about. So that's not a bad idea at all, actually, to be able to customize that text. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and that's it, really. Um, the only other thing I did on this page, if you want to see me just finish off the customization of this product page. Um, I added some content over here in this right hand column. So I added the Woo Builder uh, product title, and then I added the um, short description. I also added the, what else did I add? The price. Price is important, isn't it? Product price. And then the um, add to cart button, I guess we're going to need as well. That one there. Okay, uh, a couple of other things which I'll show you. I selected the but add to cart block and I customized it by using this option here. And then uh, this is something we've just released in WooBuilder. You can actually change the background color of the entire um, product page, which is really cool. And then I jumped in here in these blocks and I just changed the text color. Let me just do this really quickly so you can see how easy this is. I just changed the text color to white. Let's finish this off and the price and the add to cart. Uh, let's just change that to white. Oh, and actually I also put a heading up here, I think. Now this is gonna be a bit tricky for me to see it. Let's just make that text white. And I put a, um, what did I call this? Bathroom transformations, that's it. Now, I just want to show you one more thing quickly, which might be useful for you, which I get asked a lot about, especially when you're doing things like I'm doing here. And let's make this 60 points. In fact, let's make this 70 points, and I'm going to align this center. So I get asked a lot about um, changing the color of individual text within blocks, and you can do it. You see this little downward arrow here. In there is a little text color option, and so you can just change the text color. Now, it won't always preview properly. I found it depends somewhat on your theme. But when I update that and view the product, once it's updated, and view the product, you'll see that that bathroom text is actually blue. So there we go. There's, there's my nicely customized Woo product page with this really cool side-by-side -side image comparison block replacing the normal WooCommerce product image. So. I hope you found that useful and you can find some use for it. If you did uh, find it useful, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be fab. It really helps um, grow the audience and share, share the videos around. And if you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button because I'm doing um, two a week at the moment of Gutenberg videos. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon.